spring a day. I've been out for the last 20 minutes and as I was coming out of the woods, I um, so blame me, it's Wednesday. Let's get the video on. So I'm going to turn you around. It is absolutely wild. Livid, if you're a um, Monty Python fan. You know, wild, absolutely livid, darling. And if you know what I'm on about, stick a comment up. I've got my phone uh, portrait today because I kept getting it wrong and I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong with it. So, um, and especially with puppy brain. So Emerus is home. He's a real sweetie. He's absolutely gorgeous. Let me just see if there's a good place to swizzle around so you can have a wee look. Um, he's lovely. He travels really well. We had this lovely, adorable picture of him. Um, and then two minutes later, he started singing and, and uh, Dante and Spud in the back in the boot were like, oh God, here we go. I can remember Bart's face when we got Angus. Angus was a howler. He howled for three weeks. Um, right, my dogs are just eating grass. Okay, dogs, it's me. Good boy. That is a recall. So, um, yeah, he's, He's a real sweetie. Come on in. Uh, he's not met the boys yet. He's going to meet them later today, I think. And um, so meet him later. Meet them later, rather. And uh, he was. I left him with Kenny this morning. He was really settled. And then uh, he heard the dogs running across the kitchen floor to get their leads on. And that was it. He was off. He was like, it's the doom. Come on, dogs. So I think he um, he's going to be a feisty wee chap. And uh, he's very, very sweet. He is very sweet. So to start off with, he was, you know, the usual, really quiet. And he didn't want to do anything. And he was, you know, he was a little bit timid. And um, that was on, what did it do, Wednesday? That was on Monday. And then yesterday... He started coming out of himself a bit, you know, and just um, investigating. And I've got one of these coop cups for the crate, which bolts onto the side and it's got a plastic cup in it. And he thought it was absolutely fantastic just to splash in it. So he was scrabbling away and splashing away um, and then using it as a pillow, which was really funny. So that went out today because his bed ended up soaking off it yesterday. So he can now drink for the big from the big boys' bowl. And um, what else did he do? Yeah, today was very exciting day to day because he walked out to the um, he walked out to the garden himself. So the last sort of Monday and Tuesday I carried him uh, out there, but today he was brave. Yesterday he walked back in on his own, which was wonderful. Let me just take the spur. See if I can do it one-handed. Um, Russell, 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 poo bag coming. Um, he walked back in yesterday, and today he walked out. So let me just see if I can get my hand in here. You're probably going to get covered in the poo bag any second now. But it won't be full of poo, it'll just be empty out here. Oh, good boy. Lovely, lovely, raw fed dog poo. That's the way of it. So he's, um, he's been a very good boy, actually. He hasn't, I've managed to get him to the toilet outside each time, which is awesome. So he's a little sweetheart. We, uh, we discovered that he loves retrieving. He's just pick, picking things up and bringing things back. That's one of the walks that I would do, but I'm doing a short walk until the puppy's really settled. But it's glorious today. This is just, it makes you glad to be alive, doesn't it? It's awesome. Guys, I'd leave that. So we found um, a scrunched up bit of paper and I just, he was playing with it, running around with it, scrunching it. So I threw it and he picked it up and brought it back. So I said, can you pop the video on? And I did two little puppy retrieves with him and he was lovely. So he's a very good boy. He's, he's got a mouth. Come on, dogs. He, he knows his voice now. He's found his voice. Um, 
so yeah he's he's really lovely i'm really pleased with him these two are very interested in what's going on with emirates as i say they'll meet later today oh so what else has been happening what else has been happening um I take it, if you haven't seen it already, I'm going to be putting it up on Train for Life later. Um, the appalling sea, seal attack in, it was just off the, was it the Thames Bridge? One of the Thames Bridges? Um, absolutely appalling. And, and there is video of it, which I haven't watched and I'm not going to watch. The photos were bad enough, but the, the article that I think was Mail Online that I saw, I'm not really into the mail but it was the mail online and um the thing has been something like uh, as well as you, you know all the livestock attacks and um the, you know the seal that was put to sleep because it was badly injured um the, there's been something like an increase of 800 just in the west midlands another 800 on top of the usual um Bite incidents, and that, that's not ever quite being reported. And I put a lot of it down to social media, you know. I mean, social media can be amazing, and it's really good for education, and it's really good for, um, you know, connections. But actually, when I see on social media or on a group, a gun dog group, that says it's absolutely fine to let your dog chase rabbits and catch rabbits and kill rabbits and chase squirrels. I just want to stand up and shout at the person who's done it, who said it, because all it's doing is firing up the predatory response in my dog, which is really appalling. And I think social media has got a big part to play in, you know, my fur baby this and my baby that and you know, I'm my dog's guardian, and it, I think it's got a negative impact on what's happening with the dogs. I think it's got a massive negative impact with what's happening with the dogs because people are stopping looking at them as um, social predators. And social predators that have got the most phenomenal weapons in their mouth, I mean, all you have to do, all you have to do is open your dog's mouth and have a look inside, and you will see teeth, a jaw that is designed to clamp on and grab. You know, dogs don't grind, the, the, the grab and the hold on. And then you've got the canines and you've got these amazing teeth for ripping, killing and ripping and shredding. And, um, and then we're calling them fur babies. And it's really disrespectful to the dog. And it's really disrespectful to everybody around the dog because they're then getting sucked into the Oh, my lovely little fur baby, isn't he gorgeous? I mean, my dogs are gorgeous, they're amazing. And I love them to bits, and they're part of my family. And, and I will do anything to protect them, you know. If a, if a dog attacks my dogs, then war will betide them. Dante, leave that. But they are my dogs, they're my responsibility. I own them. And if anything goes wrong with them, I'm the one who'll be standing up in court. Um, you know, because they are my responsibility. And... I just think the pendulum has swung too far in, in relation to the dog. And I can remember working with somebody years ago with a dog and I, I was just exasperated, you know, way. They would say things like, my dog's a free spirit. I'm going to let my dog off on Salisbury Plain and I'm going to leave it to run around on Salisbury Plain for three hours. And then I'll just, I'll meet it back at the car no idea what the dog's doing. Um, turned out the dog actually killed a sheep in the end after it torn the bottom off. Come on. And it's a free spirit. You know, and um, you, can't, you can't have dogs when you think like that because the dog's not a free spirit. It's, it's part of a pack and it's part of its, it's brain has been hardwired into pack mentality. You, you know, there's no getting away from it. The dog is part of a pack and the hunting groups. Um, all you have to do is watch watch a couple of dogs on your walk and if they'll come across something, 
they'll divide and conquer. One will go around the back, push it forward, and the dog waiting. And it, it happens. And when I see on social media people say, "No, oh, you know, my dog won't. Um, it won't. It won't, wouldn't kill if it was hungry enough. It would. And if its predatory response was raised enough, it would as well. It would go in and it would grab." Um, and so uh, I, I find if you've worked with in the pack aggression or if you've worked, if you put yourself in front of an aggressive dog, a seriously aggressive dog, then you know more what you're dealing with and that you are dealing with a social predator who can do a lot of damage and um, who has a pack mentality. And I do find it uh, really interesting when, come on dogs this way, when people say, you know, the dogs aren't the pack, they're not, not part of the pack. It's old, it's old fashioned talking about dogs being part of a pack. And you just go, have you actually lived with a pack of dogs? Have you seen, um, have you seen it in action? Because uh, there's no such, there is no such thing as pack theory. You know, people say, oh, pack, there's no such thing as pack theory. And they're right, there is no such thing as pack theory. There is just the pack. And the guy who trained me, who I followed, um, Noel Hutchinson, before, before we came back when I was training as a behaviourist, he said, if you want to learn something about dogs, watch the dog. You know, the dog will teach you pretty much everything you need to know about the dog and about living with the dog and then of course you have to study as well you know you have to learn the theory behind it and um the law you know the dog's the only animal good boy the dog's the only animal that's got civil and criminal laws written for it specifically for it um so there that was a bit of a rant wasn't it that was a bit of a rant and that was because i was absolutely horrified at this seal being killed. And um, I've seen a couple of posts in the lead had snapped and blah, blah, blah. But she was holding the lead in her hand and the clip was dangling. So either the clip failed or um, it was off lead at the time. But either way, we owe it to our dogs and we owe it to every animal that we come across, every person we come across to train an instant recall. Dandy, Dandy here. Good boy. Oh, and you, but you coming as well. Go on, off you go. Go on. Good boy. Don't trip me up. Go on. So anyway, that rant over, that was a bit of a rant and it wasn't meant to be. So rant over, have an amazing day beautiful. There's my village. Went through the woods. Have a beautiful day, whatever you're doing. Can you believe it? It's locked down over a year now. A year and a day. There we go. Shall we end on the spaniel? Because it's looking pretty. Foot sight. Good boy. There we go. Dante, leave back. Yeah. Perfect. Good boy. Clever lad. Have a good day, guys. Stay safe and stay well. And enjoy whatever it is you're doing.